the showdown will all depend on the state of your qalb. And who knew Allah better than the Prophet Ibrahim sallallahu alayhi wasallam? Who knew Allah better than him? Who recognized his Lord better than him coming only second place to our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam? So when he says something, give it weight. He said, listen to this dua as Allah documents it in Surah Al-Shu'ara, chapter of the poets. Ibrahim, he says, Rabbi habli hukman wa alhaqni bil salihin. My Lord, give me authority and allow me to follow in the footsteps of the righteous. Waj'alli lisana sadiqin fil akhirin. And give me a reputation of honor in the latter generations of people. Waj'alni min warathati jannatin na'im. And allow me to be an inheritor of the gardens of delight. Waghfir li abi in and oh Allah forgive my father because he has gone astray and don't disgrace me on the day of resurrection on the day when no one will be benefited by money or children only a person who meets Allah with a sound heart that is the most precious thing you can offer your Lord on the day of judgment and it will be the center of all attention. Show me your heart. And that is why how beautiful were the words of Yahya ibn Mu'ad who said, That the distances of this world, they are covered by your feet. That's how you move. Distances of this world, they are covered by your feet. But the distances in the hereafter, they are covered by heart. These are the elevators. Where's your heart? Why was Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu ahead of the race? How come? What made him special to any other companion? Wasn't the tallest? wasn't the most handsome, he wasn't the richest, he also wasn't the poorest. He didn't die as a martyr like Sumayya and Sa'ad and Umar. He wasn't persecuted like Yasir and Bilal and Suhaibra. He didn't have as much money as say as Zubair or Abdul Rahman ibn Awf. Yet he is ahead of them all, including the scholars and martyrs of this nation. How come? Simple recipe. Are you ready for it? Bakr ibn Abdullah, he said from the Tabi'een, ما سبقهم بكثرة صلاة ولا صيام. It wasn't a lot of prayer and fasting that caused him to win the race. He said, but it was something that fell into his heart. That's the secret. His heart and how he felt about the religion and Allah was different. Thus he is, as Allah said, he shall be pleased. So this is the seventh reason why we've chosen this topic, which is the center of attention on the day of judgment and your elevators in that race in the hereafter is about the condition of the heart. We ask Allah to purify the heart.